Yeah, good evening all. I hope uh, everyone doing fine in this pandemic situation. So all of you welcome to this session. So this webinar organizing by KG Reddy College of Engineering and Technology, a department of Tripoli organizing this webinar on a design of hybrid vehicle uh, using MATLAB in association with Pantech e-learning and our sincere gratitude to first of all our sincere gratitude to to the management of uh, KG Reddy College of Engineering and Technology to the chief patron Lieutenant K. Krishna Reddy chairman of KG Reddy College of Engineering and Technology and patron uh, to the principal of KG Reddy College of Engineering and Technology, Dr. R.S. Jahagiridhar. Sir, uh, thank you for giving this opportunity to us in this pandemic situation. And our special thanks to the convener, Madam, uh, Dr. P. Samikta, Madam, head of the department at Tripoli, and our beloved coordinators, Dr. TVV Pavan Kumar, Sir, Associate Professor, Department of Tripoli and about KG Reddy College of Engineering and Technology. KG Reddy College of Engineering and Technology is a new age engineering college inviting futuristic vision. So known for its commitment to offer world-class engineers as industry required. It has won a class for its delighted effort in bringing state-of-the-art norms and international association with the college so it have excellent lab facilities and excellent infrastructure so about the department of Tripoli so the electrical department so it's not only uh, uh, producing only uh, technical uh, technically they have uh, well and established professors in this college and they are uh, not only for power electronics and drives power system and engineering so graduation and post graduation also they are offering the courses so for electrical engineers so they need to send to the the industry what the industry today's world need so they are training like that so they are tie up with the uh, in industries and they are conducting so many uh, webinars industrial oriented knowledge they are giving so how the mo world is moving in the present situation so like that they are giving their knowledge to the students and the, they are producing to the society a quality of the students they are producing myself I am Srinivaslu I am working as a project engineer in Pantech Solutions and about Pantech Solutions, Pantech Solutions was established in 2004. Uh, we have seven branches across South India and more than 100 employees are working in different Pantech Solutions branches. Uh, till now, we people are conducted more than 1200 workshops. Uh, we reach our knowledge and we give our knowledge almost 8,50,000 students nearly and our portfolio for research and development for industrial projects, faculty development programs and hands-on training workshops in different for technically and academic project training for postgraduate and research scholars we are giving the guidance and the customized design service and state of the art open CV and wireless power electronics power electronics is a big area for research in industrial area so power electronics and drives, power system analysis, power system stability and renewable energy application and a recent trend we are conducting the workshop and webinars on electric vehicles. Electric vehicles in that electric vehicle, when we are thinking about the electric vehicle as an electrical engineer, what is our responsibility? So which we can implement in the hybrid electric vehicle or whatever it may be, whether it is a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle or it may be battery electric vehicle. So which area we people are contributing to the industry. So how we can and oh, value added courses, internship programs we are giving to the students. So here today's our content is what is hybrid electric vehicle. 
So what is a hybrid electric vehicle? History of the electric vehicle. In 2020, we people are gathering in this platform and we are discussing about the electric vehicle. So recently, the Telangana government also, they are providing some policy, a new policy for the entrepreneurs in electric vehicle. So to the customers, they are giving policies like that. From what is, uh, when this hybrid electric vehicle thought was introduced in the all over the globe, and what is the type of, we are talking about the hybrid electric vehicle, what are the challenges we people will face when we are designing? What are the challenges? we people will face and what are the future scope of the hybrid electric vehicle also in this content briefly we will discuss then we will go with the uh, to design of a, a hybrid electric vehicle or plug-in hybrid electric vehicle an anti-lock braking system for a vehicle we will discuss that model related to that model we will discuss in the today's session so what is hybrid electric vehicle so a electric vehicle car so whether uh, whatever the electric vehicle car it uh, whatever whatever the car it have both two type of input sources both fuel and the battery it will it will run so a hybrid car is any car that uses both the electricity and fuel injection in order to run to run this type of vehicle we are preferring in this type of hybrid electric vehicle both battery and fuel tank so any vehicle that come, whether it may be a scooter or whether it is a bike or whether it may be an e-rickshaw or whether it is a hybrid bus or electric vehicle trains or aeroplanes. So whatever the vehicle may be. So in that vehicle, if you are combining two or more input sources, two or more input sources, if you are preferring the battery and the super capacitor and the fuel tank, if you are preferring, then multiple sources you are giving to the vehicle, right? So whenever you are using two or more input sources and to power that indirectly and directly provide a propulsion of power, it is nothing but the hybrid vehicle here. So you can see here, we are filling up the gas station from the fuel, whether maybe if you are preferring the diesel vehicles or the petrol also there, you can prefer fuel or diesel and the battery also. When you are preferring the hybrid electric vehicle, what is the size of the battery you people will prefer? What is the size of the battery you people will prefer? And you can see here, hybrid electric vehicles. So, so we can prefer in trains, for example, in trains, a diesel or electric and cars, mainly gasoline and electric battery. So combination of fuel with battery, nothing but the hybrid electrical car. Combination of both fuel and battery whether it may be battery in that place you can prepare the super capacitor or you can place with the fuel cells so if you are placing the solar pv panels on the top of the vehicle from that you can generate some amount of the power so that power you can store in the fuel cell you can store in the battery you can store in the uh, cell battery cells or fuel cells and whatever the storage battery also you can store here so here any two type of sources if you are combining that becomes a hybrid electric and in submarines also uh, nuclear and electric vehicle submarines ships crude ships are there right we can drive that submarine ships by using two type of input sources also uh, we can drive that one and here diesel electric vehicle also there so in this diesel electric vehicle also if you people are preferring any two input sources two input sources if you are preferring that becomes a hybrid electric vehicle so why alternative needed why we people are preferring why most of the industries today's world uh, all over the globe they are trying to shift it to the uh, electrical vehicle so whether it's a hybrid or plug-in hybrid or battery why all are focusing on mainly an electric vehicle means so now, as of now we are facing we are in the critical situation right so due to it's all about uh, for our it's uh, we people only are affecting due to the pollution pollution caused by the conventional car whatever the cars whatever the energy sources most of the energy sources which we people are using in today's world as of now in india if you are reducing suddenly all the conventional energy sources importing from other countries you can say as a, the government they are expecting by 2030 
if we people are shifted to all into electric vehicles we can save 20 lakh crores of the money that means 20 lakh crores of the money we are investing in the conventional energy sources so what, what, are, what are those sources uh, fuel and those are petrol diesel uranium so all these conventional energy sources they have limited life only if you are thinking they have limited life and mostly if you are observing whether it is in telangana or adra all over india every day fuel prices are increasing right why fuel prices are increasing we are paying to the taxes to the state and central government and we are paying to the abroad countries so they are increasing the prices due to the demand so they are increasing so we need to if we people are avoiding those fuel energy sources if we can reduce the energy sources then we can save as per the re, uh, researchers uh, report analysis they are telling we can save 20 lakh crores of the money and here in by 2050 uh, 20 uh, 2025 indian market indian ev market they are expecting the market value around 50000 crores also so fuel is a limited natural gross as we people will know well about that one so whatever the conventional energy sources we are generating the power so these have limited these have limited life only once these are above, uh, these are uh, expired from the earth means then we can't reproduce right so as per the IEEE standards also they are telling that as of now we people are using like this we can use the conventional energy sources means up to 200 years only the span of time the conventional energy source lifetime it may be around 200 years after that after 200 years how the world will be sustained how the world will be run without power we can't drive our lives right so and here for that reason most of the companies most of the people globally also they whether the developed countries already developed countries they are focusing on the e-vehicles electric vehicles so they are reducing mainly carbon dioxide emissions and they are reducing the pollution by reducing the pollution we people can give a better society to the coming generation also and here if you are avoid the fuel better mileage also we can do so better mileage if you are applying the regenerative braking system or vehicle to grid grid to vehicle if you are applying the same hybrid electric vehicle you can apply better mileage system when you are applying the better mileage system then you can drive the vehicle uh, more than 200 kilometers so more than 200 kilometers as of your expectation so we need alternate resources so then we are focusing the hybrid electric vehicles and the purely electric vehicles wheels so why only hybrid system means hybrid power system are conceived as a way to compensate for the shortfall on the battery technology because batteries could supply only enough energy for short trips if you are thinking about the only why we are mainly focusing on the hybrid electric vehicle means so whatever 